Hey guys, Stuart here. Now, do you have a website built with Google Sites and you want to track your website's performance, but you're not too sure how to do this? Well, today I'm going to walk you through the process of how you can connect Google Analytics with Google Sites so that you can start tracking your website's analytics and online performance. Okay, so before you go ahead and launch into this Google Sites and Google Analytics tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into Google Analytics. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the simple process of connecting our Google site with Google Analytics so that we can start measuring our website's performance. Now to arrive at Google Sites, simply head over to your browser and type in sites.google.com and that will take you to Google Sites where you can find your website. Okay, so head over to the back end of your website where you can make customizations to your Google site. And once you've arrived at your website, simply navigate up to settings in the top right hand corner and navigate down to analytics. And what we want to do is enable analytics and connect our Google Analytics account. So now what we want to do is head back over to your browser and type in analytics.google.com and that's going to take you to your Google Analytics account. Now, if you already have a Google Analytics account, that will take you to your dashboard. If you don't, your screen will look like this. And all you need to do is go ahead and sign up. Now, within your account, or if you're signing up for the first time, simply navigate over to the right-hand side and make sure that you have your Google account connected. Ideally, you want to use the Google account that you use to create your Google site. Then navigate down to the bottom left hand corner and click on admin and then navigate up to create account. Here we want to create our Google Analytics account. So go ahead and add the name of your website or the name of your business. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to create an account for the business Pat's Pizza Pizza. Then once you've done that, simply navigate down the page and come down and click on next. Then go ahead and add your property name. Again, I'm going to add Pat's Pizza Pizza. Now you can have one account and you can have multiple properties within that account. However, I'm just going to create one account with one property for this particular business. Then you can navigate down to the reporting time zone and depending where your business is based, you want to add the reporting time zone. You also want to add the currency of the country that your website operates in. For example, if your business operates in New Zealand, then you'd add New Zealand dollar. If your website operates in the UK, for example, this could be a Pat's Pizza Pizza bar. It's a local restaurant that is in a city within the UK. So I'd make sure that the British pound is selected. Then once you've added your property name, your reporting time zone and your currency, come down and click next. Then navigate up to industry category and go ahead and select the category that your business operates in. I'm going to go ahead and select food and drink. Then if we navigate down the page, we can select the size of our business. We're going to go ahead and select small. This is a small business with one to 10 employees. Then again, navigate down to how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? Go ahead and tick all that apply. I'm going to go ahead and click on measure customer engagement with my site or app, optimize my site, increase my conversions, and then measure lead generation. If you're not too sure which options to apply, don't worry about it. You can come down and click other, and then simply come down and click create. Then navigate up to the region, go ahead and select the region, then come down and click. I also accept the data processing terms as required by the GDPR. Then come down and click I accept. Then here what we want to do is go ahead and click on web because we want to track the performance of our website. And here we need to navigate up to website URL and paste in our Google Sites domain name. So to do that, head back to your Google site 
and here we are back inside Google Sites. I'm going to exit out of this and then navigate up to this copy published site link. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, what we're going to do is use this free Google Sites domain name. So go ahead and click on copy link and then navigate back to Google Analytics. Then come down to website URL and paste in your domain name. So this is my website domain name, my website URL. Now what we want to do is go ahead and delete this section HTTPS because we already have that over here. So go ahead and delete that and then navigate over to home. We do not need home and this dash over here. We just need sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash your business name. Then navigate over to my website and add your website name again, your business name. Then come down to measuring. This is what we'll be measuring within Google Analytics and come down and click on create stream. And here all we need to do is navigate up to measurement ID, come down and click copy to copy this ID and then navigate back to your Google site. And within Google Sites, all we're going to do is navigate back up to Settings and then come down to Analytics again. And this time what we want to do is navigate up to Google Analytics, Tracking or Measurement ID, click here, and then paste in your ID that we just copied from Google Analytics. And then simply click Exit. And just like that, you should see this little tag down here notifying us that Google Analytics and our Google Site are connected. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure that your website is published, then go ahead and view your published site. To do that, click this drop down, come down and click on view published site. Now what we want to do is navigate through our website and what that's going to do is generate data within Google Analytics. This is going to allow us to identify if Google Analytics is now tracking our website's performance with live visitors. Okay, so once you've navigated through your website, simply head back to Google Analytics and then navigate over to Exit Web Stream Details and then navigate over to Home and you can see your website's data collection is active. It may take 24 hours to appear in your Analytics account. So you can see we have Pat's Pizza account selected and if we navigate down over here, you can see Users in the last 30 minutes. And you can see that this is me. I can also go ahead and click on view real time and that's going to preview real time information. And you can see basic analytics down here about the users in real time. Now, if you're completely new to Google Analytics and you want to dive deeper into understanding the analytics and the information being generated within Google Analytics, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will dive deeper into understanding how Google Analytics works. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you like. Now to finish up, what we want to do is quickly go ahead and connect the Google Search Console with our website. And this free additional analytical tool by Google is going to allow you to identify how your website is performing in Google Search results. So to quickly connect the Google Search Console with your website, simply head over to your browser and type in search.google.com and that's going to take you here. Then navigate over to URL prefix. This is if you're using a free domain from Google Sites. If you have a custom domain, add your custom domain in here. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my website URL again in here. And then before you navigate down and click on continue, we want to make sure that we're logged into our Google Search Console with the account that we use to set up Google Analytics. Then come down and click on continue. Give Google Search Console a moment to verify and you can see that the ownership of your domain was automatically verified through Google Analytics because we already went through that process of connecting Google Analytics. Then navigate down and click on go to property and this is where you can preview your website's performance on Google Search. Now, if you want to learn more about the Google Search Console and how to make the most of this free tool by Google, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will dive deeper into understanding how the Google Search Console works and how you can leverage this free tool. 
However, that is everything that we wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you connect your Google Analytics account with your Google site. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial. Now if you have any questions about Google Analytics or Google Sites, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.